That's a lightning of 120,000 volts. It may look like fun and games with a bit of pain, but there's a lesson here. You know his work, but you may not know the name. Nikola Tesla is the man responsible for powering many of our everyday household appliances, but still, he's not a household name. Uh, if you think about that, you will realize that uh, when we speak about induction motor, you have induction motor in every devices at your home that you are using electricity and got rotating part within. And of course, with that induction motor, whole system of producing and uh, receiving and consuming of electrical energy that we have today is built on his inventions. The curator says he was ahead of his time and practically invented our current way of life. Sometimes we call him man from the future because uh, when we talk about wireless transmission of energy, uh, the project that he never, never finished. So that idea we don't have today, still, we will see about that. But for example, that was idea uh, ahead even our time. The museum holds more than 160,000 original Tesla documents, 1,500 photographs, and more than 1,000 plans and drawings. While a Serbian heritage, Tesla was born in 1856, but 500 kilometers west of here in a small village called Smiljan in the Austrian Empire, now modern-day Croatia. As you can imagine, both countries claim him and fight over who he belongs to. Here in Serbia, he's a national treasure, and there is no debate. Tesla is Serbian. He comes from an Orthodox Christian family, and his father was an Orthodox Christian priest. His mother was also Orthodox Christian, and he always declared himself as a Serb. So there is no doubt about his nationality. He felt it in his heart. We also feel that we should celebrate him not only because of his nationality, but because of what he did for humanity. Officials hope to raise awareness of the Serbian-American inventor through traveling exhibitions. The widely respected, Tesla was never able to translate his numerous inventions into long-term financial success, unlike his early employer and chief rival, Thomas Edison. If you, if you think about his inventions, you will realize that he built everything for all mankind. Uh, so he was, let's say, uh, opposite of the uh, business world. And of course, you cannot uh, go uh, like some other scientists uh, in that way. Uh, he was, how to say, re really human and in some cruel business world. As he had a hand in powering many everyday items we take for granted, Tesla is often referred to as the inventor of the 20th century. Abdel Halim, TRT World, Belgrade.